Hello, I'm Aman, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how to resolve an issue when, after increasing the size of an Amazon Elastic Block Store volume, the change isn't reflected in the operating system or disk management. We'll do this by extending the file system size through logging into the instance. Let's get started. Modifying an Amazon EBS volume requires two steps. First, we must increase the size of the EBS volume. I'll be using the AWS Management Console for visual representation, but this can also be done using the AWS command line interface. It's a best practice to create a snapshot of the volume so that you have a consistent backup of the file system before proceeding. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Console. Then select Volumes under Elastic Block Store. Now, select the EBS volume that you want to increase the size of and then choose Actions, Modify Volume. This is the Elastic Volume feature of Amazon EBS that allows you to dynamically increase the size, change the volume type, or adjust its performance without detaching the volume or restarting the instance. Increase the size of the volume to a desired value and choose Modify. When prompted for confirmation, choose Yes. The new volume size is available for use as soon as the volume enters the optimizing state. The second step, and the reason for this video, is extending the volume's file system at the operating system level to use the added storage capacity. For this, you must first log into your instance using SSH for Linux or RDP for Windows. We'll look at both these platforms. For Linux-based systems, log into your instance with an SSH client such as PuTTY or using SSH in the local terminal. Use lsblk command to check the current size of the volume, partitions if any, and the file system. Optionally, you can run df-h command if you want to know the current space utilization of the file system. To identify the type of file system, you can run the file command. Note that on Nitro instances such as T3, M5, or C5, the devices are identified as NVMe. Depending on its type, the command to extend the file system is different. As you can see, I have two volumes attached to this instance that are identified on the operating system as slash dev slash NVMe 0 and 1 and slash dev slash NVMe 1 and 1. The first one has two partitions, while the second one does not. If the volume has a partition, you must extend the partitions first, before extending the file system. To extend the partition size, we can use the grow part command like this, and then run lsblk again to confirm the extended partition size. We are now ready to increase the file system size. Both file systems on these volumes are of different types. For ext2, 3, and 4 file systems, you can run resize2fs command, while for xfs file systems, first install the xfs tools and then run xfs growfs. You can confirm the extended size by running df-h command. For Windows-based systems, we must first connect to the instance using an RDP client and then use disk management to extend the file system. After you connected, in the Run dialog box, type diskmanagement.msc and press Enter. This opens the utility. On the menu bar, choose Action, then choose Rescan Disks. You'll see the unallocated space next to the drive that you want to extend. Open the context menu by right-clicking the expanded volume then choose Extend Volume. In the Extend Volume wizard, choose Next. For Select the amount of space in MB, enter the number of megabytes that you want to extend the volume by. Typically, we specify maximum available space. The highlighted text under Selected is the amount of space that is added, not the final size of the volume. Complete the wizard. If you increase the size of an NVMe volume 
On an instance that does not have the AWS NVMe driver, you must reboot the instance to enable Windows to see the new volume size. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.